in this video I'm going to show you how to work out upper and lower bounds. In the first example, the height of a door is given as 195 centimeters to the nearest centimeter. Now all that means is that when the height of the door was measured, it wasn't necessarily exactly 195. It could have been a little bit more or a little bit less, okay? We're just rounding it to the nearest centimeter to make it simpler. So we have to work out the upper and lower bounds. Here we've got the lower bound. Now the lower bound is just the smallest possible measurement the height of the door could have been so that when we round it to the nearest centimetre, which here is the nearest whole number, it would be 195. So hopefully you can see when we round that number to the nearest centimetre, that 5 rounds the 4 up to a 5, giving us the 195. So that is the lower bound. Anything smaller than that number wouldn't round up to 195. If you imagine it said 194.4, the 4 wouldn't round that 4 up to a 5. So that's the smallest possible measurement the height could have been. The upper bound is a little bit confusing because the maximum height, okay, the door could have been, if we're rounding to the nearest centimetre, is actually 195.4999 recurring. So you can see, if you round that to the nearest centimetre, which is the nearest whole number, the 4 doesn't round that 5 up, giving us the 195. Anything bigger than that would round that number here up to 196, which is no good. So that's the upper boundary. But that's a little bit awkward to write out whenever we want to write out the upper bound, having a recurring number is a little bit messy. So what we do is we actually write down the turning point, the number at which point we start rounding up to 196 which would be this number here. Okay, you can see that the 5 here would round this 5 up to 196. So with the upper bound, it's not actually included in the measurement. The upper bound, it just means the height of the door could have been, me could have been measured up to this number here. Anything up to this number, but not including that number, because that number does in fact round up to 196. So that is the upper bound. Now often in the exam questions, they want you to write the lower and upper bounds in terms of an inequality like this. So X is just the region of measurements, and here you have to write down the smaller measurement, the lower bound, and here the upper bound. So that just means the measurement of the door could have been anything from this number here all the way up to this one but not including it okay remember we don't include that number that's why this doesn't have a line here the inequality sign it's saying x is less than 195.5 but not equal to it okay so there's the first example keep listening for the next one Okay, so in the next few examples, I'm going to show you a technique that will always help you find the lower and upper boundary. So here we've got the height of a girl is 158 centimetres to the nearest centimetre. Find the upper and lower bounds. And remember, the lower bound needs to go here in the inequality and the upper bound needs to go over there. So because we're rounding to the nearest centimetre, it's the same as saying rounding to the nearest one centimetre. It's exactly the same thing, okay? You have to remember it means one centimetre here. So what you need to do is take this number, the number one, and divide it by two. So one divided by two gives us 0 0.5. Now, to find the lower bound, you have to subtract that value from 158. So 158 minus 0.5 gives me 157.5, which is the lower bound. So I'm going to write that one in there. To find the upper bound, we have to plus instead. So instead of minusing 0.5 from 158, we have to add it. And if I add 0.5 to 158, I get 158.5, which is the upper bound. So, you need to remember to take this number here, the one you're rounding to the nearest one centimeter, okay? Always divide that by two, and then you need to subtract that number from the height of the girl to find the lower bound, and then you need to add 
that number to the height of the girl to find the upper bound. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, in this example, the length of a garden is 320 meters to the nearest 10 meters. Find the upper and lower bounds. So remember, if you're given an inequality like this, the lower bound is on the left and the upper bound is here on the right. Now, just like before, you have to take that number, okay, the one you're rounding to the nearest to, okay, and you always divide it by two. So 10 divided by two is five. Now, to find the lower bound, you need to take the length of the garden, 320, and you need to subtract that number five. Okay, so if I minus five from 320, I get 315, and that is the lower bound, 315. To find the upper bound, we don't subtract, we have to add. So this time, we have to add five to 320, giving us 325, and that is the upper bound. So just remember what that actually means. The garden could have been 315 meters, or it could have been anything up to 325, but not including 325. And when you round any of those measurements in that region to the nearest 10 meters, it gives you 320, okay? One more example to finish. Okay, so in this final example, the height of a tree is 25 meters measured to the nearest five meters. Find the upper and lower bounds. So just like before, take this number here. So this time it's measured to the nearest five. So we take the number five. And again, just divide that number by two. So five divided by two is 2.5. And to find the lower bound, you just subtract that number 2.5 from the height of the tree, which is 25 meters. So we do 25 minus 2.5, which is 22.5. Okay, so that's the lower bound. And then for the upper bound, we do the same thing, but instead of subtract, we add. So 25, okay, because that was the height of the tree, plus 2.5 gives us 27.5, which is the upper bound. So remember, that means the tree could have been anything from 22.5 meters all the way up to 27.5 meters, but not including that number. And if we rounded any of those numbers in that region to the nearest five meters, it should round to 25 meters.